Good morning. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Queensland. Welcome to Queensland, Australia. Thank you for coming on guys. Welcome aboard. Uh, this morning is the first morning I've actually had an opportunity to check out um, the news uh, here in Queensland and I've just watched a three minute report on the devastation that uh, was caused in Victoria on Christmas Day and Boxing Day this year and I just wanted to share with you um, a clip, it's a three minute clip uh, oh that's alright Kelly, um, uh, yeah it is very sad I just wanted to share with you this uh, three minute clip just I guess to show um, everyone how grateful I am uh, that we got through Christmas in a safe, um, safe fashion so yeah, hey Matt, it was. So guys, I want to show you this. Check this out. This is um, this is Australia. It can happen. Um, good morning, Vin. So let's just think about. Um, let's be grateful for what we had for Christmas and Boxing Day because there's some people who um, weren't as lucky. So I want to show you this. Wiped out. Dozens of homes destroyed. With fire burning to the beach. The Premier of Victoria flew over the fire zone to Apollo Bay before delivering the devastating news in private to a packed hall of distressed locals. Every effort's being made to try and get each and every one of these families back in uh, to their local community to see and assess for themselves exactly what's happened to their property. At least 98 homes destroyed at Y River, a third of the entire town, while 18 properties went up in flames just north at Separation Creek. As the firefight continues, stories emerged at the Apollo Bay Relief Centre. My husband's in the CFA and um, he actually watched the house burn down that he and his dad built. So we've lost everything. It's gone. Everything's gone. And the, the fireys that stay behind to try and save the town. I mean, they've endangered their own lives to save everybody else's house. I'm just so grateful there was no loss of life. While this lady was yet to hear the fate of her property after rushing down from Melbourne. It was really quite frightening. We were surprised at how quickly the smoke came up over the ridge behind us and uh, we suddenly became aware in the early afternoon that the fire was a lot closer than what we thought. We had the impression that it was Y River and, and staying away from Lawn, but we were warned that there was a likelihood of a wind change and that that would make a difference. So we, we just left in the car. We didn't pack we just decided just to go straight away. Burning through thousands of hectares of steep and unforgiving terrain, crews on the ground were supported by teams in the air. Canadian-born Peter Neely is leading a large team of specialised pilots and spotters. They spent hours in the air above Y River and Separation Creek as a bushfire raged through rough terrain and into the direct path of homes. It was very intense, a lot of smoke and the wind was really bad so there was a lot of turbulence we had a lot of difficulties but uh, everybody out there did an awesome job but stories are emerging of the homes which were saved the colson aerial team believe if authorities hadn't evacuated the towns and called in the choppers as early as they did it could have been much worse here on the surf coast these two colson choppers have been working in tandem with other aerial appliances including the so-called Elvis, the Ericsson Air Crane. And the crews have been answering the call in Australia for a number of years, even coming to the fore on Black Saturday. The bushfires forced evacuations of popular surf coast towns. In 14 hours, the town of Lawn reopened, locals driving back after fleeing Christmas lunch. We made that decision to leave, yes we did. We um, came down and spoke to the CFA here and they advised us that the um, town made to evacuate later in the day. So, <clears throat> I wanted to share that with you for um, a particular reason. I guess that uh, come Christmas time there's a lot of fun, a lot of energy, a lot of happiness that happens. Um, but there are um, people that don't necessarily get to enjoy Christmases the way they should do. Here in Australia you've seen that devastating bushfires that have gone through Victoria. So uh, from my point of view, um, I'm very grateful for the Christmas, Christmas that I had. Um, I wanted to share that with you just so um, I guess it puts a bit of a reality check back in place that um, Christmas is fun but not for everyone. So 
um, for all our emergency service workers who did help with those fires in Victoria. Um, I want to go say a big thank you to you. Um, yeah, absolutely devastating. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. I just wanted to share that with you um, for, for no other reason than just to say um, these things can happen. Um, not everyone has a fabulous Christmas day, so we just want to share that um, with everyone. And um, you're welcome. And prayers are with those families, of course. And thankfully, no one did die from that, but just um, 116 homes lost. So...